Hello, hope you're having a great day today. I'd like to do a uh, tarot reading on the uh, Large Hadron Collider. They're saying they're going to start it up again on the same day as the eclipse. What I want to look at is the, uh, I want to look at the, the, the Hadron Collider's energies and our energies and the relationship, the energy between us. You know, what, what, what is it doing? Does it have an effect on us some way? Uh, I'm interested in that to see if that they are using this for some, some means, some nefarious reasons or, or good reasons or whatever they're doing here. The relationship of the Hadron Collider's energy to, to ours and see what the universe has to say about that. There's been lots of speculation. We'll see what the tarot says here about what's going on. Okay, a couple of cards and the layout. Okay, this could be kind of, kind of, uh, this, this is a little different than what, what uh, I was feeling myself. That uh, the energies between us and this device in the past has, has been very conflicting, um, creating situations for us where uh, causing us to be agitated, upset, and creating more conflict for us in the past. And that that's, that's the way that has shown up for us in the past. Okay, presently, the energies for the collider are going to be emitting, uh, emitting a, a higher frequency, um, a higher energy out to the collective that is, 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 uh, going to bring, help bring some higher frequency to us all is, is what I'm getting that, uh, it look, it looks like we need to look at who is responsible for this now, because I think that, that what I'm getting is the this thing has changed hands. It's not in the hands of the the ones it used to be in. But the energy of this looks uplifting. Actually, looks uplifting and and uh, like um, ascension ascension energies in a way, helping us to evolve is the way that feels. And for us on our on our side, you know, this is we're going to be receiving receiving uh, something that is good for us, good news. And it is the end of the the uh, burdensome energy and the conflict that we've had with this energy in the past. Uh, it's an ending to it. Now, there's a couple, I, I'm getting, I'm picking up, there's two different ways to look that this will feel. Um, these energies are going to help us, but there's going to be some clearing where you're clearing some stuff out, the old lower frequencies. Uh, there's going to be some, some clearing out and that could feel burdensome, but the end result, but the end results for this. Okay. As we clean out these old beliefs and let go of these past structures, it's the end to the, to the past here. We're going to start to bring more truth is going to be brought in. Uh, these energies, this is the Hadron Cloud, are going to help bring in truth and integrity uh, into, into the system here energetically. We're going to begin to work together more as a team, and we're going to be able to see, see that uh, we're we're going to be able to come together a little bit more easily in the future and cross those lines of where we thought we were so, we were so different that we just couldn't stand each other. Uh, some of that's going to drop and it's, it's going to, it's, things are going to start to come, come together a little bit more. Uh, this is the way the energy is going to, to feel to us in the future we're going to we're going to be more charitable we're going to be more giving to others 
and we're going to receive things more easily uh, from other people even. So it so it's looking like this is the way this feels to me is not nefarious. It feels like this is a positive force, a positive thing that's going to happen. Uh, positive energies, uplifting, higher vibration. Uh, there's a vortex being created with this that's going to create create higher frequencies and bring in higher wisdom and higher knowledge. So that may surprises me a little bit, but it may surprise, surprise some, some folks uh, who won't want to believe what's happening, but that's okay. We all, we all have a right to our opinions. And um, so that's, that's the first part of this. We're going to look at, at uh, who is controlling the Hadron Collider now. Who is controlling it? Who's in charge of it now? Who is in charge of this, this collider now? If the universe will tell us, which we should get something here. Okay, who is in charge of the collider now? Layout? Okay, it's looking like the universe is, is uh, kind of denying us <laughs> access to this information. They're saying, it, it, they're saying that this is a unique situation that we have right now with this. The ones that in there, it, it, it's the ones that are in charge are trying to create create balance. Uh, they're trying to bring a balance into the system now, where it's been really completely out of balance one way. They're trying to to bring us into a balance in a higher in a higher frequency. They're stopping. They're stopping this feeling of being trapped and uh, isol the, the isolation and the trap feeling that we've had. Um, that's they're, they're targeting bringing us together is the way this is all feeling here. They're trying to, they're, they're telling us that with this, we're going to become sovereign. We're going to become sovereign uh f more freedom loving we're we're going to move away from anxiety and fear that that's that's the things that I'm getting here that's that's what I'm feeling is uh, once again it, it's not let's see if I can get more clarification okay <clears throat> even more information it's this is an ending we need to surrender to who's surrender to this right now. The universe isn't going to tell us exactly who this is. Uh, although that all the information that we're getting here is, is positive for us and that it's a secret right now. <laughs> it's a secret who's involved in this. And uh, I'm getting, I'm getting like Alliance, uh, our future selves is is really kind of what I'm getting. Alliance energies in this, uh, so it's a secret right now. But in looking at all of this, to to uh, go over all of this again, it the collider looks like it's being activated to assist us in our evolution and to help us move into to a higher frequency and also come together, come together, create balance. Uh, it is a move towards sovereignty and it's a move towards sovereignty and bringing us together where we, we are more, more balanced and loving toward one another. And the ones that are over this right now, I get the intuitional feeling that these are, this is what's called the Alliance or our future selves are involved in this. And right now it's a secret, but will come out at some time in the future. So I hope you enjoyed that reading on the collider and uh, we'll see you in the next video.